carry things back in front, you know, getting inventory ready and uh, uh, taking care of the heavy lifting for a bit. <coughs> just to start, just to start, give you guys a little bit of a rest. Um, just show us, uh, you know, we love what to bring up front and uh, we'll, um, we can take care of it for a bit. But you saw how we worked the crowd and uh, I think we can, we can be able for a little bit. That'd be nice. Enjoy some lunch. This is fantastic meat that Corella's preparing. If we could get this to all the city, I'm sure that, uh, uh, you know, we'd be, we'd be, a riots would be a thing of history. All right. Um, throw me a... Actually, no, I'll just look. Uh, so, Mulder kind of looks at you guys. All right, I will let you guys tend to the animals outside, help prepare some of the meat that's in here. Uh, we will take a little reprieve, I guess. Um, he looks over to Corallo and Parnes. He's like, you two, go take care of stuff. Enjoy a couple minutes, like an hour to yourselves. So, you know, Parnes and Corallo kind of nod off to each other, you know, probably going to get some drinks. Um, they head off to the back room. Yeah. Well, Drago sort of uh, comes back here, starts working on some of the meat that is uh, discarded, and figure out if there's anything they can actually make use of. Uh, Mulder goes out here to sort of wrangle some of the animals. Um, making sure they're fed. Um, you guys can do stuff. Um, oh, I'm sorry, actually, Mulder comes back and says, Alright, how about this? You guys collect some of the meat that's out here, take it to the front. Um, I will need some of you guys to season some of the stuff using the salt that's in these vats right here. Um, and also cleaning out some of the fresher meat uh, with the, the waters here. It sounds perfect. perfect. So he goes back outside, starts working with the livestock out there. I'm going to grab a handful of the salt and the, and the meats and put them in um, one of the uh, flasks that I'm carrying. Okay. Well, I'm going to go uh, <laughs> grab, some of the, grab some of the meat to haul out front and uh, uh, inspect it with another survivor roll and Try and get a clearer idea of what's going on here. Okay. Oh, look at that. Oh, okay. All right. So you're in the front looking at the different meats, right? Yeah. So there's still some meat left over from this morning that they're passing out. Uh, with the 25, you actually identify that this is not a meat from either the animals that, or any of the animals that are actually here. You know that this is actually uh, human meat. Whoa. Um, now I think we we have that uh, uh, conclusive <laughs> evidence, people. Now, now do it. Okay, we're going to see the boss. Uh, I'm going to, uh, you know, right now nobody else knows this information, so I'm going to wander back to get another uh, load. And um, kind of everybody seems to be kind of gathered in this area and kind of uh, share the information with them um, under my breath so as not to alert everyone else. Mm -hmm. So we're all on the same page. Cool. So how do we want to deal with the uh, camels? But I will throw it as an aside. Oh. Properly seasoned, human is pretty nice. It's better than elf. Not quite like a dwarf. But, you know, it'll do it in a pinch. 
Greetings! Greetings, Steve's greetings. Oh, sorry. Um... I really want to talk to the boss now. Can we talk to the boss? Go find the boss. It does sound good. I, why don't you guys lead the way up the stairs? I'll take the back. I don't think our trip up is going to be uh, permitted. Mom is still outside in the, in the, with the animals, and uh, you know, Baldrigo's out here in the front or in the back with the, on the table. So, I mean, if you guys actually went upstairs, you <coughs> really won't notice you. Unless you guys are real loud about it. Let's not be loud and just sort of go out like we're going to haul out the. We're all going to haul out some meat to the front um, and then uh, go up the stairs. So we. Let's go into the boss's room and lock the door behind this. <laughs> you can do that. Too. I'm assuming the upstairs is this over here. This is the stairs. Yeah, that, that, oh, yes, that is the stairs. Upstairs, over here. Okay. Let's wait for uh, Kevin to get back. I'm gonna get coffee. Also, AK a sec. Decision that I hope I do not regret for role-playing purposes later on. I, my uh, second level uh, witch hex I took is cackle, which will be I just I cackle as a move action for a turn, and it allows me to continue the effect of my fortune hex for another round. Nice. Um, I think that totally works. Your uh, works with your character. <laughs> I need to remember that I got my improved trip feet, and I should be tripping people. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's going to get the same. All right, cool. So everyone's back. Um, Sorry, guys. That's fine. Um, Bruce and Gargo went up the stairs over here to the area over here. Uh, so, <laughs> bless you. Uh, so you guys can go up there if you want. You guys can kind of be down here, whichever. Um, the, the, the top of the stairs, I think I can see everyone in the same language. Yeah, okay. We, uh, need to deal with this, uh, building at some point. This is kind of a, kind of a vile situation. Um, so you're... In, in this room, you know, you see there's a table, uh, four chairs. Um, there's a room ahead of you, the door's closed. I guess I'm going to try to sneak ahead and, and peek into the room and make sure he's still conked out or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, so you... Uh, you turn the page, 
Um, wow, well, turn the page. You turn the uh, the doorknob uh, and peek in. You just see a man who's sort of uh, sitting on the floor with his back to the bed. Uh, for all six purposes, that's a bed. Um, and you know, there's a couple bottles around him, but he's just dead asleep. Uh, you do not notice anything in the room that is really to cause uh, attention. Okay, well, I'll motion for the rest of the party to follow me, but to stay quiet. <laughs> is, it, is it our man? Is it a guard you know, uniform? Ah, uh, that's such a very good question. Yes, it is. It is Varric Man. Uh, sneak, sneak, sneak. Then cast him. I'll leave a beast under the bed, um, like up in the corner here, to watch the stairs behind us. Okay. It'll let me know if, like, someone is coming all angry. Somebody jog my memory. Are we just supposed to kill this guy, or bring him in for questioning, or...? Uh, it was requested that you guys bring him in uh, peacefully, if possible. If he were to be dead, uh, you know, things happen. But, uh... I think the idea was to pacify the rebels by any means possible. Yes. There were preferences, well, but that was up to you guys on how the situation kind of evolves. I... If, if he's unconscious, I'm not too keen on killing somebody who's unconscious and um, doesn't have the uh, opportunity to defend themselves. However, the four dudes downstairs, I would have no such uh, issues. Um, our request was to bring him in if possible. It appears that it is possible. However, I think we need to, uh, I think we need to deal with the mess beneath us as well. I'll be, I'll be honest. Um, whatever gets reported, whoever we take back for questioning, to, at bare minimum, the meats in the basement need to be destroyed. That's, that is unholy what is going on down there. Potato, potato. <laughs> we can, uh, we can safely agree they shouldn't, they shouldn't be, uh, uh, Passing this off as what uh, what people are expecting. Um, I mentioned where the fuck they're getting it from. It does seem like this kind of, that that's actually kind of even more upset. Is like what where where is this coming from? Um, so as an interim measure, why don't we tie this dude up? Go downstairs. Gag him. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, little brother, smart. Um, My fire alarm is going off. I'll be right back. If when we go back downstairs, um, Bel Drago is still alone in this room, perhaps we uh, block the other doors, deal with Bel Drago, and then uh, keep the keep the group separated and. Uh, Take my one at a time. Well, we're two at a time in the Corallo and Parnes case. Uh, I can, uh, I, I can try putting those two to sleep. Who do we, who do we want to take back? Do we want to take Corallo back? No, we're the, the, our target's the guy passed out in the room here. Um, okay. I, I think he's the only one that we have much obligation to bring, to be, to bring back the other four of our there's obviously party in uh, the distribution of uh, human meats, which, while tasty, um, is not kosher in, uh, <laughs> um, in our community. Uh, uh, yeah, that sounds, that sounds good to me. I mean, if they, if we can, what I think might be meat, we, uh, we make them not threats. And then we just let the folks outside know what happened, and that hey, the team they're here. As a cautionary measure, as far as the people outside are concerned.